Welcome, you guys. So let's start today in child's pose. At the back of your mat, let your hips sink down to your heels and let your forehead just meet the mat there. Feel that grounding comfort of the universe. Let your arms stretch out in front of you. Maybe give them an extra stretch. And then exhale, let the shoulders soften. Let the hands kind of float back towards you. As you start to start your ujjayi breath, Just feel that air pulling through your nostrils, down into your lungs. Each breath brand new, with no judgment or expectations. Let this be like a safe landing space for you. Yeah, and just start to feel into what your intention is today for your practice. Good. And then on your next in breath, lift your forehead, come to your fingertips, and we'll walk it to the left side of the mat. Let the head release. Let the right hand walk a little bit more forward, stretch open into that right side. Yeah, draw the right hip back. And then walk it through center over to the right. Same thing, let the head release, let the left hand reach forward, left hip reach back. Big opening in the left side. Good, and then walk through center. And come on up to hands and knees, into some cat cows. Inhaling, open into the chest, lift the tail. Exhale to cat. Draw the navel up to the spine, press out of the hands. Good, two more. Inhale to cow, as if you're trying to draw the mat towards your knees with your hands. Exhale to cat. Pressing through the shoulder blades. Inhale to cow. And again, exhale to cat, squeeze the inner thighs towards each other. Good, and then come back to this neutral back. We'll bump the hips out to the right and take a big, slow, controlled hip circle. So hips might brush by the heels on your exhale, and then inhale, circling the hips up towards the elbows. Good, and then take that big, slow circle the other way. Inhale towards the elbows. Exhale towards the heels, really press into the back like in cat. Nice. Come back to a nice neutral back, curl the toes under, and walk the hands forward and press back to down dog. And just pedal it out here, dropping one heel and the opposite knee. Yes, yeah, stretch your body. And just that balance of not pressing too much, but a little bit of stretch. Feels so good. And gazing between the feet here, let the knees be soft, maybe even a little bend, and press the chest towards the thigh. Yeah. Good. Nice long back. And then shift your gaze between the hands, walk the feet forward into ragdoll forward fold. The feet are like hip width apart here, and the knees again are soft, maybe even bent to let the chest rest onto the thighs. Yeah, shake the head, yes. Slowly and no slowly. Good, and then take the right hand right in the middle there, in front of the feet, and turn and twist open to the left. So the right knee will be bent a little bit more than the left, and the left hand will be up like it's catching the ball. You got it. Good. On your inhale, draw the head away from the hips. On your exhale, twist a little more. Look to that top hand if it's okay on your neck. Nice. And then switch sides. Left hand down, left knee bends, open to the right. 
Big inhale, draw the hips away from the head and exhale, twist a little more. Good, release the hands, release the head. Circle the hands above the hips and just interlace the knuckles there if you can and draw the knuckles up away from your head and forward down towards the floor in front of you. Yeah, like a big waterfall just coming out of the hips all the way down over your back. Smoothing over any tension. Good, and release the hands to the mat. Toe heel the feet together. And we'll swim on up, extended mountain. Big breath in. Exhale, big breath out. Hands to the heart. Nice. Press the thumbs into the sternum. And press the sternum right back into the thumbs. And I've unmuted us here so we can share our own together. So bringing your intention into mind, take a big deep breath in, and then clear it out on your exhale. Good, another big breath in, and then we'll own. Feel that vibration in your sternum, that sound that connects everything, and the power of your intention. So we'll start to really move with that intention. Inhale, extended mountain. Good. And then face the right palm to the right and take the left hand, like a lobster claw, around the right wrist. And we'll just crescent moon over to the left there. You can bump the right hip out if you like. Good. And then take the right foot and bring it behind the left. So, and you don't have to do that extra piece, but if you like a little bit more, take the right foot behind the left and stretch a little deeper into crescent knee. Nice. Leaving the feet where they are, bring the arms back to center and fold forward. So we're getting a nice stretch into our ITB band. Good, and then inhale, sweep the arms up, bring the feet back to center. Nice, face the palm to the left, right lobster, clasp around it and draw that left hand up and over to the right. Yeah, bump the hip to the left, good. And then if you like that extra step, bring the left foot behind the right. Big opening into the left side. Good, leaving the feet where they are, return the arms to center and fold forward. Let the head release. If your hands don't quite make it to the mat, bring your hands to your shins. Nice, breathe in, reach up, extended mountain, feet back to center. Good, and then exhale, fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift, hips back, heart forward. Good, plant the hands, step the right foot back left, foot to meet it, and we'll do knees down on this one, and then chest, and then chin, and slide it forward to a little baby cobra, really light on the hands. Draw the elbows from center, and lift to the chest. Big breath in, and breath out, head towards the mat, press it back. You can go to child if you feel like you need a little more grounding, or to down dog. Good. The big deep breath in and out. Nice. And from down dog, look forward and walk the feet to the hands. We'll just take this one really nice and slow here. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Good. Inhale, sweep the arms up and up. Good. And then moving again to your vinyasa, exhale, fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Plant the hands, left foot comes back, first to come right to meet it, and you can put your hand, uh, knees down if you like, or you can leave your knees up. Chaturanga, low push-up. Inhale, either cobra or up dog. Good, and then exhale, down dog. 
Big breath in and out. Nice. Inhale to the toe tips. Exhale, bend the knees, look forward and hop or walk to the front of the mat. Halfway lift, inhale. Nice, exhale, fold. Inhale, sweep the arms up, mountain. Beautiful. Exhale, you can follow your fingertips with your drishti gaze here. Fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Plant the hands. You can step or hop to the back of the mat. Chaturanga, a little push and squeeze the elbows in. Inhale, up dog or cobra, your choice. Open through the collarbone. Exhale, down dog. Yeah, two breaths in and out here. Good, inhale to the toe tips. Exhale, bend the knees, look forward. Hop or walk to the front of the mat. Halfway lift, inhale. Exhale, fold. Nice. Plant the hand step or hop to the back of the mat. Chaturanga, low push up. Nice. Press the earth away here. Inhale up, don't feel the earth support you and your intention. Good. Down dog. Big breath in. Big breath out. Inhale to the toe tip. Exhale, bend the knees, look forward, hop or walk, front of the mat. Halfway lift, inhale, exhale, fold. Inhale to chair pose, Utkatasana. Good, squeeze to the center line, everything here, inner thighs, navel, lower ribs, let the shoulders slide down and back. Good, can you pull your shin back? towards the ankles. Beautiful, sit a little lower on your exhale. Nice, inhale a little high. Good work, exhale, fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift, big breath in. Plant the hands, step forward, hop, chaturanga, low push up, nice. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Beautiful, big breath in. And exhale. Inhale the right leg high here, three-legged dog. And then rotate your ankles, point and flex the toes. Get a little movement in that right ankle, foot area. Good, and then on your next exhale, draw the right knee to the right elbow. Maybe slide it up to the tricep if you want a little more. Inhale it back. Good, exhale, draw to the nose. Right knee to the nose, shoulders over the wrist. Good, inhale it back, three-legged dog. And then exhale, right knee, left elbow, maybe tricep. Good, inhale it back, three-legged dog. Beautiful, step the right foot all the way to the right wrist for warrior one. Set your footing. Get that nice grounding and build your pose from there. Sitting low in that right knee. Good. Right hip draws back left forward. And then feel your core. Super strong, navel to spine, lower ribs in. And build your arms from there. Reach up, look up, warrior uh, one. Good. Exhale, let your vinyasa catch you. Try to run the low push up. Good. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Nice job. Big breath in. Big breath out. Inhale, the left leg high, three-legged dog. Rotate the ankle, point flex. And then on your exhale, draw it to the left elbow. Maybe slide it up a little bit to the tricep. Inhale it back, three-legged dog. Good, exhale it knee to nose. Nice job. Inhale it back, three-legged dog. Exhale, right elbow. Maybe tricep. Good, and then inhale it back, big inhale. 
Three-legged dog. Exhale, step it through for warrior one. Really nice. Again, starting at the base. All four points of the feet feel grounded into the mat. From there, lift the arches like you're stacking the energy up, 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 up into the navel and then out the hands. Sit low in that front knee. Draw the right hip forward. Good. Sit a little lower in that right knee. Left knee rather, sorry. And draw the hands up and back. Maybe a little back bend. Exhale, come on down, turn around a little push up. Really nice, good job, strong warriors. Inhale up, dog. Exhale down, dog. Beautiful, big breath in and out. Inhale to the toe tip. Exhale, bend the knees, look forward. Walk or hop to the front of the mat. Halfway lift, inhale. Nice long back. Exhale, fold, release the head. Inhale, chair pose. Good. Sit low. Pull the knees back. Inhale, high. One more breath. And then fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Plant the hands, step or hop to the back of the mat. Chaturanga, low push up. Inhale, up dog. And then I have a little variation today for you guys. You can choose to go right back to down dog or inhale the right leg by bending the knee. And then place it, exhale to the outer left side of your mat. So you're rotating up, facing the sky. Into rock star, yeah, good. And then come on back through your chaturanga to up dog. Good, press it back to down dog. Nice job. Inhale the right leg high, three-legged dog. Exhale, step the right foot through. Warrior one, one breath this time. Exhale, warrior two, open to the left. Good, draw everything out here from center. Yeah, let the shoulder blades slide down and back. It, it helps you can do some little shoulder rolls. Sit low in that front knee. Good. Just to gave that the front middle finger. So we put that energy right where we're headed, right where our attention is. And then flip the palm, leaving the front knee low, pull up and back into reverse. Really light on that back hand and the back leg or maybe around the back to the front side with that left hand. Keep breathing, keep extending up towards the sky. Good, one more breath here, big inhale, and then cartwheel all the way down, chaturanga, low push up. Inhale up dog, and then if you want, you can go back to down dog, or inhale that left knee, bend, Left foot up and then exhale it over to the right and flip belly side up. Nice. Exhale back to your chaturanga. Inhale up dog. Exhale down. Big breath in. Big breath out. Good. Inhale the left leg high. Exhale it through. Big step. Warrior one. Open to warrior two, to the right. Good, draw the shoulders open, draw the thighs open. Just really elongating into this pose with each breath. Sit a little lower in that front knee if you can. Good, and then flip your palm, take reverse, leaving that front knee nice and low. Keep pulling up and back like there's the string from your left armpit going up, up, up. Good, one more breath, peel it up, open it up, and then exhale, chaturanga, low push. Nice, inhale, up dog, exhale, down dog. Big breath in and out. Inhale to the toe tips, 
Exhale, bend the knees, hop or walk to the front of the mat. Halfway lift, inhale. Exhale, fold. Inhale, Utkatasana, chair pose. Feel that energy, that prana forcing through you. Big breath in, go up and back. Nice. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Plant the hands, step or float, chaturanga, low push up, squeezing the elbows to center. Inhale up, dog shoulder blades pin down and back. Good. And back to down dog. Beautiful. One breath, one movement this time. Inhale the right leg high, three legged down. Exhale, step it through, warrior one feet. Inhale, warrior one arm. Exhale, warrior two. Really nice. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, cartwheel down. Step it back. Chaturanga, low push. In. Inhale, up dog. Nice. Exhale, down dog. Big breath in and out. Inhale, the left leg high, three-legged dog. Exhale, step it through, big step. Inhale, warrior one arm. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, take reverse. And exhale, all the way down. Chaturanga, low push up. It's so good to move with the breath, with your intention, right? Exhale, down dog. Really nice. Big breath in and yeah, one more like that. Breathe in through the nose and this time let it out the mouth. With a big clearing out. Anything stale. And then inhale the right leg high, three legged dog. And bend the right knee, flex the right foot. Just start to open up the hips here. Yeah, and if you like, you can flip your dog. Bring your knees in line, lift through the hips, and let your heart square up towards the front. One more breath. And then look into your mat, come on back to down dog. Swivel the heels out to the right and open up to a side plank. Any version you choose. The bottom one can be down. Yeah, the feet can be stacked. The top leg can be bent. Or you can lift, levitate that top leg. Your choice. Any version you take, really let the heart open here. Let the skull come back. Yeah, all that energy to the top hand, lifting into the hips for one more breath. Beautiful. And then release. Come on back through your vinyasa or to down dog, your choice. All in down dog when you're ready. Good. Inhale the left leg high, three legged dog. Bend the knee, flex the foot open to the right. Stay and let the hips open or flip your choice. If you flipped, Lift into the hips and bring the knees right in line with each other. Good. One more breath. Open up, expand, elongate, take up space. And then come on back to down dog. Swiveling the heels to the left, open to the right for side plank. Any version you want. Yeah, make sure that left hand is right under the left shoulder. And then imagine that you're at this wall. So the shoulder blades come back, the back of the skull comes back, and the heart opens. Beautiful, freeing feeling. One more breath, lift high into the top hand, into the hips. And then come on back through your vinyasa, chaturanga, low push up. Inhale, up dog, heels in line with the toes. Exhale, down dog. 
Big breath in and out. Good, everyone's doing a great job. Nice, and then take the right leg high for three-legged dog. Big breath in, exhale it all the way, step it to the right wrist for crescent lunge. Yeah, you can drop that back knee a little. So there's a little bend there and the back heel comes in line with the back toes, low in the front knee. Nice, exhale hands to the heart. That feeling of pressing the chest into the thumbs, dropping the shoulder blades down and back. And take a twist to the right and then hinge forward, straightening that back leg. If you like, extend the arms wide. Good. And then big windmill all the way up and around, open to the left for side angle. Yeah, that right forearm can rest on the right thigh, or you can reach down the right hand to the block or to the mat. The top hand creates this line from the back heel all the way to the fingertips. Nice. Or you can come around the back for the bind. Your choice. Let your breath guide you. Let your chest be open and be your guide. Big breath in. Big breath out. Nice. If you've got the bind, go ahead and release it. And we'll bring our hands into triangle, straightening the front knee. Yeah, into triangle. Good. And then we're going to do something a little different here. So go ahead and bring your gaze to your um, front foot. And we'll take that back leg, back toes, until we heal them up. So we're going to be coming into half knee. So if you want to block, Go ahead and grab that, lifting off that back leg into half moon. Good, if you like, stay in half moon, open the chest. If you like, catch that back foot. Keep breathing, keep opening. Good, and then once you felt stable here, come to your right fingertips and we'll take it to airplane. Very nice. And then this is a bit challenging here, so stay with it if you need to touch down on the ground, go for it. We're gonna take airplane into dancer by reaching back to that foot. Right, it's a little balancing, a little challenge. If you come out of it, that's fine. Come right back into it. Good job. And then touching down at the front of the mat, inhale, extended mountain. Exhale, hold forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Plant the hands, step or float to the back of the mat, chaturanga, low push up. Yeah, elongate through the side too. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Big breath in and out. Inhale, the left leg high, three-legged dog. Exhale, step it through, big step for crescent lunge. Left foot forward, exhale the hands to the, and a twist to the left and hinge forward, straightening that back leg. Good, can you squeeze that left hip in? Lift the right hip, sink the left a little more. Press the hands together, extend the arms wide. Really nice. And then like a big window, come up all the way around, warrior two to the right. Take reverse if you like, or right into side angle. Now let your breath expand the side angle here with each breath. Maybe reach that hand down, maybe come around and behind for the back, for the bind. Good. Nice. And then reaching the left hand down to the earth, straightening that front knee to triangle. Yeah, a little different, shaking things up today. <laughs> nice. 
bringing that top shoulder, rolling it back. And then looking at that front foot here as your guide here, we'll torso the back foot up a bit and take off into half moon. If you want a block or anything, have that there. And then option if you like to reach that back foot, catch it, or keep that back leg straight and firm in half moon. Nice. Bring yourself to your left fingertip. Coming slowly into airplane, using your equilibrium here, and then reaching up and back for dancer. Again, it's okay to touch the ground here. Nice, and then stepping that back foot to the front, inhale, top of the mat, extended mountain. Nice job, you guys. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Good, plant the hands, step or hop to the back of the mat, chaturanga, low push up. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Big breath in. And up. And then looking where you want to go, front of the mat, hop or walk the feet into a low squat at the top of the mat. So malasana, feet together, palms together, thumbs at the heart. A little press into the inner thighs with the elbows, tricep. Yeah, and just open the heart here. Squeeze the pelvic foot up and in. And then if you like, come to crow or play with crow. Yeah, let it be playful and fun. Nice. And if you're in crow and you'd like to jump back to chaturanga, now is the time. If you're in squat, come on back to chaturanga. Exhale, low push up. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Big breath in and out. Nice. Look forward where you want to go. Hop or walk to the front of the mat. Halfway lift. Inhale. Exhale. Fold. Inhale. Extended mountain. Exhale. Hands to the heart. Let this ground you. You can shut your eyes if you like here. Bring it all back to your breath and your intention. And as you're ready, just let your eyes gently open and set your drishti gaze, set your intention on a spot that doesn't move somewhere in front of you. Good. And then grounding into the hips, lift the right knee. You can either take the right hand to the inner right knee or you can piece finger the big toes for your choice. And then um, take it out on an inhale to the right. Left arm maybe comes out, extended to the left. Maybe you look over, a left shoulder. Good, nice, finding your balance through all the challenge. Good, and then bring that um, right foot into the left leg for tree. Start with the hands to the center of your heart. And then once you feel like you've got your balance, your let your hands express however you like. Branches, maybe reverse namaste. You want a little more shoulders today. Yeah, nice. Standing, powerful, even in the storm, sending those deep roots down. And then big exhale, hands to the heart, foot to the mat, nice job. Another side as you're ready, left knee comes up, hand to the knee or peace fingers to the big toe, extend and out, 
to the left, maybe float that right arm out, maybe look over it. Good, and as you're ready, bring yourself into Rikshasana. Yeah, nice and steady breath. Any expression you like. Good. Keep the breaths nice and smooth. Let the shoulders soften, the face soften, the toes soften. But that core remains strong. Exhale, hands to the heart. Feet to the mat. Nice job. Hold forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Plant the hands, step or hop to the back of the mat. Chaturanga, low push up. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Big breath in here and out. Inhale, the right leg high, three legged dog. Exhale, step the right foot to the right wrist and bring the left knee down. Yeah, I just said it on the mat here. We're going to get a little more deeply into the hamstrings here. So Hanumanasana. Walk that right foot forward if you want a little bit and flex the right foot back. Take that right hip crease and draw it back. Yeah, circle the right toes. Nice slow circle. And then the other direction with that circle. Good. If you have a block and you'd like to use it here, Couple different options. You can bring it right under the hamstring. I like to bring my thumbs forward here, so I'm externally rotating my shoulders and opening through the chest. That's an option. Let the heart be open. Let the heart reach towards the front foot. Another option I really actually like is to put that block right under the right hip. Give it a little extra. Support there. Good. So we'll be here a few breaths. Just letting that hamstring start to tease a little bit looser. Good. And then just bring that block to the side. We'll bring our hands inside the right foot with the sole of the foot to the mat and circle the hands around to the left side to the mat. And we're going to come into skandhasana. So take a nice bend in that right knee, walk the hands over and the elongate, lengthen to the left leg. You can get as deep into this as you want. And then walk the hands to the left. Straighten the right knee. Yeah, and you can keep your hands on the ground here for that stability, or you can take the hands to your heart. Or float the arms for a little more challenge. Let's do three on each side. And then return to center. Heels are in, toes are out. Come on up to a little horse squat, a little goddess squat. The heels of the hands nice and firm onto the sides. Inhale, draw the navel to the spine. And we'll twist towards the left, exhaling. Bring everything up. Inhale to center. Uddiyana Bandha, take the navel to the spine. Twist to the right. Good. Inhale to center. Nice. And then bring the heels in line with the toes, still facing the long right side of your mat. And fold forward. Just straddle fold. Let the head, the crown of the head, reach down. You can bring the hands in line with the arches of the feet here. And just open into the chest, squeezing the elbows towards each other. It's a great place for um, try that headstand if you like, if you've got that in your practice. Go for it. Yeah, big breaths here. Comforting breaths. Grounding breaths. Nice. And if you're upside down, start to make your way down. We'll 
walk the hands under the shoulders here. So heel the feet towards each other and come on up. Turn the toes towards the front of the mat and step that back foot about halfway up to pyramid. Yeah, squaring the hips forward, shoulders square forward. Inhale, get tall. And exhale, fold right over that front foot. Let the right hip crease drop up and back. And a few options here today. Options can be really good. Stay in pyramid, keep melting the lungs towards the front thigh. Or if you like, you can play a little with handstand here. Right? Or if you like, you can take it to a revolved triangle by lifting that right arm. Your choice. Let it be fun. Another option, if you like it here and you're in revolve triangle, is revolve half moon. Lift that back leg. Good. And then touch down, bringing the hands back to the ground. Step it forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, extended mountain. Big breath in, big elongation. Exhale, fold form. Inhale, halfway lift. Plant the hands, step or hop to the back of the mat. Chaturanga, low push up. Nice. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Breath in and out. And inhale the left leg high, three-legged dog. Exhale, step it through to the left wrist. Bring the right knee down, low lunge here. And then if you like, grab your block. We'll take it to Hanumanasana, stretching into that left hamstring. I like to do a big circle with my foot one way and the other. Just feels like it gets that whole hamstring integrated. And then let that block help you for these three breaths. Three breaths sounds so small, but I know this one's a really deep one. So let that block help you here. Open through the heart. If you like, you can fold a little forward too. One more deep, full breath cycle. Try to find that place inside of you that can be okay even in a challenge, right? I don't know, for the, I, I think for those people like me in South of tight hamstrings, this is super challenging, right? Okay, slowly ease your way out of this. Take the block, put it aside, and we'll bring the hands inside the left foot and walk it over to the right side of the mat. Let's do our Svanasana. Three on each side. That arms, however you like, down at your heart, floating. And then come on back to center. Once you're done with three on each side, heels and toes out. We'll come up to that goddess squat for a twist. Inhale, navel to spine, tuck of the tailbone. And then twist, exhale into the left. Inhale to center. Exhale to the right. Good, and then straddle, hold toes in line with the heels, fold forward. Yeah, you can piece finger the big toes if you like here, or tripod headstand. Take this where you want to go. Stay right in this moment, in this breath, in this pose. 
Find that sweet spot right in the center of the pose, center of your breath, center of your intention, where there is life. Good. If you're upside down in a tripod hip thing, come on down. If you're in a straddle fold, we'll start to come up. Hands to the hips and then facing forward for pyramid. Again, get long, get tall, and fold. Left hip crease draws up and back. Heart melts evenly towards that front thigh. If you like, play around with a handstand here. If you like, you can come to a wall triangle, left arm up. Or even revolve half knee. Yeah, I like that spirit of playfulness of hope work itself in here. Nice. You guys are inspiring. Okay, as you're ready, we'll slowly come out of it, hands to the mat, and step it back to a high point. So feel that solid core here, navel to spine, tuck of the tailbone, roll the shoulders over the wrist, heels stretch back and down. Inhale the right leg high. Good, exhale it down. Inhale the left leg high. Exhale it down. Good, you got this. Inhale the right leg high and exhale it to the outer left ankle. Tap. Inhale it high. Exhale it down. One last one. Inhale left leg high. Exhale, tap it outer right ankle. Inhale it high. Exhale it down and then all the way down to the ground. For locust, hands beside the hips. Good. Inhale, draw the arms up to floating. Draw the legs up. Neck nice and long. Good. Can you turn those little pinky toes down and then lift higher into the legs? Really nice. Keep breathing here. Keep reaching everything up into center. Beautiful. For three, two, and one release. Good job. Take a few breaths here. Next one is your choice, yogi's choice. Inhale, come on up, either locust or bow. Good. Keep those knees hip width apart. Yeah, the neck nice and long, looking down. Each breath. Maybe you peel a few more ribs up and off the ground. Three, keep breathing, two, and one, release, nice job. Take a bend in the knees if it's not, and just slowly windshield wiper your feet from side to side. Let that lower back release. Good. And then let the legs be long in the center. Press the hands under the shoulders and see if you can squeeze the elbows in and come right up to that high plank. So strong back to down dog. And then either hop or walk the legs all the way through the hand. Onto the mat. We'll come into bridge. Yeah, feet right under the knees. Tuck in the tailbone here to begin with to protect the lower back. And then inhale each vertebrae up, up, up. Draw the heels away from the hips. Lift the hips. If you like, interlace the hands under the hips here. For eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one release. Nice job. 
Okay, Yogi's Choice, Bridge or Wheel. Come on up for wheel, hands beside the ears, thumbs in. Inhale, come on up for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Nice job. Float it down. Awesome, you guys. One more, your choice. Bridge your wheel. Come on up. Inhale. Up you come. For eight, seven. You got this. Six, five, four, three. Open the heart. Two, and one. Yay, good job. Come on down. Let it rest. Let it land. Good. We'll take happy baby here. Bringing the knees towards the armpits. You can be still or you can rock a little. And if you want a little more hamstring, peace finger the big toes here and straighten the knee. Good. And then slowly gather those feet together and knees out wide for Sukta Baddha Konasana. And you know we're not just going to sit here. We're going to do abs. <laughs> so hands behind the head, interlace the knuckles, press the feet together, and draw the feet up and in. At the same time, lift the head, and we'll exhale elbows to knees for eight. Inhale, extend. Seven, navel to spine here. Six, press the feet together. Five. Four, three, two, and one. Nice job, you guys. Float the legs up high and take the hands into a little triangle. Thumbs and first fingers touching. And bring that triangle, palm down under your hips. You're on the mat there. So you give yourself a little stand your hips. Good. And then same thing, let the shoulders draw down the back. Exhale, lower the feet by about 30 degrees, navel to spine, look to the toes. And then another 30 degrees. You might start to float the shoulder blades here. And then last 30 degrees, hovering right above the ground, looking to the toes, navel to spine. Nice job. Come on back up. Let's do that one more time. Exhale, 30. Good. Another 30. And final float, 30. Look into the toes. Lift the shoulder blades. Navel to spine. Good job. Bring the knees to the chest. Let the head come down. Just give yourself a big hug here. A little rock side to side. You can massage the lower back. Good job, you guys. And then taking the knees into the chest, bring the nose towards the knees. We'll rock up and back a few times here. Let's do three times into boat pose. Good. Full boat, half boat, whatever you want here. Let the chest be open. Navel to spine, look to the toes. For eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one to low boat, looking to the toes. Five, four, three, two, one. You got this back to boat. Maybe a full boat if you've got it. Full boat with a little help. For seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. You did it. Good job. Cross the ankles. Send it back to down dog. Nice job, you guys. Deep breaths here. Inhale the right leg high, three leg down. Exhale the right knee to the right wrist for pigeon. And if you want, you can visit mermaid here, catching that back foot. 
And then work your way down to the ground. If there's any knee stuff going on, take this one on your back with a little figure four. And if you feel any air or hint of unsupportedness under that right hip, bring a block or a blanket there. Feel completely supported here. Allow yourself to release any tension. Deep breaths. And start to cool it down. You can roll your weight to that outer left thigh here, level up the hips. And then sink a little deeper into your stretch. And one more breath here. And slowly come on back to down dog. Inhaling that last leg high. And pigeon on the left. Feel free to visit Mermaid. Let everything land here. Just really releasing into your breath, into this moment. Letting it be good enough. And you deepen your breath a little naturally, slow it down a little. One more breath here. And then slowly make your way back. One last down dog. And I pedal it out. Feel that extended body, freedom, mind, and spirit, and body that you have created during your practice here. And then slowly shift the gaze between the hands, walk the feet through onto your seat with the legs out nice and long. I like to move my hip muscles and Keep everything out of the way a little here. Ground the sitting bones into the ground. And just shake the legs out a little. Good. And then take the right leg as if you're in a sitting down tree into the inner left thigh. Inhale, get tall. And exhale, fold. I don't know if you guys have been seeing these posts about um, people putting things in their windows so that when neighbors walk by, they see like hearts or little bear. Uh, we, we've seen a rainbow in our neighborhood. It's beautiful. And today that image just kept coming to mind with the rainbow and how that image of hope is so important right now and always, especially now, <laughs> right? So this um, next series, that we're going to do with our breath is going to be called painting a rainbow. That's what I call it. So make sure your right hand is on top of your left. And we're going to just work with the breath a little here to completely release towards our Shavasana. So inhale the right arm overhead and all the way behind that right hip. Exhale it forward and get a little deeper into your stretch. Good. We'll do that two more times. Inhale, paint that rainbow up over your head, all the way back to the hip. And exhale a little deeper into your strut. And this is the last time we're going to inhale it back behind the hip. This time, just let it rest behind that right hip. Transfer your weight to your right shin and open up, lifting off into like this full body rainbow. 
So you're stretched from your left foot all the way to the left fingertips. You can look at that right hand if you like. Just open that whole body. Good, and then exhale, come on down. Take both feet out. Bring that left foot into the right inner thigh. Inhale, get tall in the spine. Exhale, fold with the left hand on top this time. Inhale, paint that rainbow behind your left hip. Inhale, fold forward. Good, two more times. Inhale it back. Like, I like to imagine like what color I'm painting each time. Exhale it forward. Last time, inhale it back. Place it behind the left hip. Transfer the weight to the left shin and just open up the full body here. Good, big breath. And then slowly set it back down. Take both legs, shake them out. Big breath in, get tall. And this time, fold over both straightened legs. Let the heart really lead here. And the hips draw back. The neck releases. Nice. And then slide the hands behind both hips here. Feet right under the knees. Inhale to reverse people top. Let your shoulders squeeze. Let that support your head. Good. And then slowly release all the way down onto your mat. Hug the knees in. And come either to shoulder stand or hips on a block, your choice. Let the feet float. Maybe you want to rotate the ankles a little more. If you're in shoulder stand, you may want to come to snail or plow. Yeah, look straight up in any of those poses. And slowly make your way down with the legs. Hug the knees in. We'll take a quick twist on each side here. Let the right knee be in. Let the left leg go long. Open the right arm out to the right. And take a nice twist over with that right knee to the left. Look over that right shoulder and take Three deep breaths here. And then come through center as you're ready. Take the other side. And then once you're finished with that, gather the knees up. Give yourself a big hug here. And prepare to just melt onto your mat into Shavasana. Let your body elongate, expand, surrender, and soak up all the benefits of your practice.
begin to notice your breath here. Let it expand. Bringing you back to your center, your true nature. A place that doesn't change. And moving from there, start to wiggle your fingers, your toes. Finding your way in your own time onto your side. And just pause there on your way back up. I have a quote I wanted to share today about hope. It says, hope. If we only carry one thing throughout our entire life, let it be hope. Let it be hope that better things are ahead. Let it be hope that we can get through even the toughest of times. Let it be hope that we are stronger than any challenge that comes our way. Let it be hope that we are exactly where we are meant to be right now and that we are on the path to where we are meant to be. Because during these times, hope will be the very thing that carries us through. That's from Nikki Banna. As you're ready, make your way up to seated, please. Bringing the hands to heart center as we honor that place inside where we are whole. And thumbs to forehead center as we tilt and lift the head open through the throat. As we bow to that place in each other, that light that doesn't change. Thank you for being here. Namaste.